Alright, shoot me. Is it a shotgun? Oh, jeez! <laughs> Maybe I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Hey Questers, and welcome to BMF, your home for all things Oculus Quest. Today is the day I get shot, and no, I'm not going to the doctor's office. B Haptics was kind enough to send me over one of their haptic vests, which can now be used with the Oculus Quest. Currently, the vest supports Sirento and Thrill of the Fight, although Thrill of the Fight is in public beta for the next couple of weeks, but it'll be integrated into the native Quest Store version very soon. B Haptics is already working with other developers to bring haptic feedback to other games on the Quest as well, including Death Horizon and Space Pirate Trainer. The Tactot, which is what this haptic vest is called, uses a total of 40 different vibration points to simulate everything from a bullet hit to a gentle squeeze. The vest is lightweight, easy to put on, and it lasts for approximately 15 hours on a single charge. Charging the vest from dead empty takes about four hours. It feels really high quality and the inside mesh liner is removable for washing or replacement if need be. The Tactot uses Bluetooth to connect to your Quest and it also comes with a USB Bluetooth dongle so you can hook it up to your PC as well if your PC doesn't come equipped with Bluetooth. B Haptics also has an iOS and Android app you can download and connect to the vest so you can test it and also play music and feel the music through the vest. All right, so here's the B Haptics app. It's pretty cool. There's some different things you can do in it to actually test test out the vest. You can actually draw <laughs> across the front of it or the back of it. You can change the intensity, which just feels really weird. You can hit little individual spots for the motors. There's 20 different motors on the front and 20 on the back. You can switch between the two. And uh, let's see, you can turn on them individually. I'm gonna turn on that one and that one. Uh, feels like my chest is vibrating. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else can you do in here? Uh, you can actually go to uh, your library and there's different effects essentially that this uh, vest is designed to use. So for games, they would implement things like this. Like this is an arrow hit. Oof, let's get hit with an arrow. Man, you get hit in the, it, what it does is it actually hits in the front first and then the back, like it's going through the front and exiting the back. It's so weird to feel. <laughs> um, Let's get electrified in the front. Oh my word, that's so weird. I get hit with electricity in the front. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, a security scan. I did this one. This one's cool. It goes back and forth and back and forth like you're getting scanned by some sort of uh, electrical uh, scanning device. That's so cool. Uh, let's see. Zorro. That must be a sword, maybe? Yep. Ah, <laughs> they're doing the, the Z across with Zoro. Um, well, that was, it felt weird. Let's see where we are. We Let's do um, Slash and Pierce. So that's a slash that pierces the armor, and this is just a slash. So that's just a light, light slash. It feels so weird. I'm not used to it. I keep jumping because I'm not used to what it does. And the other cool thing you can actually do with this is you can actually go into your... Um, um, audio on your phone if i turn this on you can and you can change the mode so you can do melody concert bass or action game uh let me start a song here oops Let's see if i can turn the media on it says it's playing is it playing it's not playing oh there we go ah <laughs> you feel it You can feel the bass at the bottom, and the mids, and the uh, higher tones. You can switch this to concert bass. Holy crap! Uh, get off me! <laughs> this is an action game. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. <laughs> So that's, that's the uh, B Haptics app anyways. <laughs> Pairing the vest with the Quest is incredibly easy. Each game actually has its own menu. So for instance, in Sirento, you head into the settings and find the accessories section and then hit the button on the battery pack for the vest and it'll pop up ready to connect in the game. All right, so now that I've talked about the vest, let's jack in and check it out. Our 
guys are here in Sirento, and uh, you can see here it actually says BH Haptics right there. Uh, it was updated on 1.6 to add the haptic suit integration. It's actually under options integrations. I said it was under accessories. I was actually wrong. It's under options integrations. So you go to options and it's right here under integrations. Once you go into integrations, you'll actually see the tactile show up right here. There's a button on the back that you'll press and then you'll see this pop up. It'll actually be in scan devices. You'll click on it and it'll pair. And this is paired. Yeah, it's paired. <laughs> you click on it and it shows that you're paired. Uh, so let's jump into a game. All right, so here we are. Survive for 105 seconds. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to let myself get shot a couple times just to show you what it feels like. All right, shoot me. Get a shotgun. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to get shot. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Run, run! Oh, God, something hit me in the back. All right, come on, shoot me already. I want to feel this. Oh, jeez, hi there. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, right from behind. I can feel them. One huge thing that I like about this is that you can actually feel where it's coming from, which is pretty amazing. Ooh. It's not hurting, but it's definitely got some good kick to it. So you can feel it, that's for sure. Ooh. It's felt an explosion. That was the first time I felt an explosion. Ooh. Ooh, just got hit by a shotgun blast. Ugh, from the back, too. Another shotgun blast to the back. Slice me. I want to see what happens. Oh! <laughs> favorite levels actually. I don't know why. This looks cool. Ready? Gotcha. Oh. Something hit me. Oh, come on. Hit him already. There, wave one complete. <laughs> now I want to try the the other attachments that they have. I want to feel what it feels like to shoot a shotgun with the haptic feedback. Wave two complete. Hit me from behind. Gotcha. Jumped out of the way. Oh, somebody up here. Oh, jeez. Hi there. <laughs> Run. He's behind me.
Come on, buddy. Come and get me. Yeah. Slash her through my shoulder. I can feel it. All waves complete. Although the B-Haptics vest is on the pricey side at $500 for the vest, I think that it adds a level of immersion to VR that has to be experienced to really understand. Obviously, this product won't be for everyone with its high price tag, but if you're looking to feel VR, then this is a great option. I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality of both the vest itself, as well as the experience that the vest gives you. I was kind of afraid it would be really gimmicky and not worth using, but now I'm actually hoping they start implementing it into more games. I can't wait to see what it feels like to be attacked by a zombie on Death Horizon. Boy, that sounds weird. B Haptics also has other haptic accessories that I have yet to test out, including feedback devices for your face, arms, and hands, which I can imagine immerses you even further into the game. I would love to feel the recoil of a gun with the hand and forearm haptics. What are your thoughts on the B Haptics vest and the future of haptic feedback? I know right now it's not accessible for everyone, but I hope in the future that haptic accessories are the norm when it comes to VR, and B Haptics are definitely one of the ones at the forefront of that movement right now. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date on everything Oculus Quest. Thanks so much for watching and happy questing.